I've gotten a lot of questions about low-dose vaginal estrogen and whether it is indeed safe and whether it, it does indeed stay locally just in the pelvic floor. And the answer to the first one is yes. Second one is no. We know that low-dose vaginal estrogen doesn't necessarily just stay in the pelvic floor. Anything you put into your vagina gets into the bloodstream and goes into your body. However, when we give a low dose, which is about 0.1 milligrams per dose, then most of it is staying locally in the pelvic floor. It's staying in the vagina and in the area right around that which is why we don't have to give progesterone with it, which is why we don't see clinically significant increases in estrogen levels in the rest of the body. Now, the caveat to this is if you put a large amount of low-dose vaginal estrogen into your vagina, or if you're also using estrogen on your face and your arms and your legs and you're, you're putting like low doses everywhere, then it's no longer low dose. Then it's just regular dose. And now you're getting estrogen in higher doses in your bloodstream. But is it still safe if you're doing just a low dose in your vagina and you're doing it just for GSM symptoms? Yes, it's totally safe. And we know from all the studies on this, including the new AUA guidelines that tell us that low dose vaginal estradiol is quite safe, even in breast cancer survivors. And you should not be scared of it, but you should understand that yes, a little bit is going to get into your bloodstream. And that's not a bad thing.